This tutorial forms part of our basic computer training course for beginners and seniors. The lesson is titled Hoax Emails and is a general lesson about scam emails and hoax emails. Now as you're aware the internet is open to everyone and that also means it's open to criminals. So unfortunately we have to be on our guard so as not to fall victim to these criminals online. Now you can reduce the risk of receiving hoax emails by having proper internet home security and we at Maganga recommend McAfee as an excellent choice in home security. But unfortunately hoax emails can still sometimes get through. Now if you want to go into specifics about hoax emails you can do a search for hoax emails through Google and you'll come up with a number of sites with the latest internet scams. But one place that is free to use is your local police website. Now I have here the London Metropolitan Police website and they have a section on fraud and part of this is online fraud. Now we're just going to talk about some of the types of emails that you could possibly receive. Fraudsters often send out mass numbers of emails to unsuspecting people offering prizes for lotteries and other such promises of good fortune. The recipient then replies whether directly by phone or by email. The prize of course does not exist. What the fraudsters are after is the amount of money to release the winnings. Another type of email is known as a phishing email. Now these emails are sent out to people and they are requests to supply security information in an attempt to get bank and other personal data. Links in these emails often take the user to a bogus website. The user may then be passed to a genuine website having entered their personal information on the bogus site. If anybody sends you an email asking for your bank accounts or personal data, delete that email. No reputable bank or organisation will ask you to fill out details like that online from an email. It's like somebody knocking on your door and asking for your bank account. You wouldn't do it. And that's called phishing. Other examples of hoax emails, investments, share, land, wine and high yield investment fraud. Emails are sent out with the offer of a share purchase known as a boiler room where a fake company offers a unique guaranteed opportunity. Undeveloped land in small plots on the premise of gaining planning permission for housing. One investment sold later for a large tax free profit. Banks from remote areas of the world offering bank guarantees for hundreds of millions of dollars. All these sort of emails are known to the police and are scams. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is too good to be true. Ignore them, get rid of them, bin them. The honey trap. This is often found through social networking, online dating, and by emails. Contact is made through a website, email or personal advert. You become friends, exchange personal information and photographs, you become hooked, believing the stories you're told, you become sorry, believing in the hard luck story, you want to help, so you then send them money. You become hooked, so you send them more money. Sometimes people are not what they seem on the internet. If somebody's asking you to send money like that, you're falling for what's known as the honey trap. Unfortunately, loads and loads of lonely people fall into this type of trap and all the criminals are after is money. What you need to do is ignore further emails and if you get pestered, go to the police. The last type of fraud that we're going to talk about is what's known here as a Chinese letter fraud but this can come from anywhere around the world where letters or emails are sent out with the individual claiming for example to be a private investment manager or a business relationship manager. The manager makes further claims stating to have managed funds of either a relative or someone who has a similar name to you. They then claim that the person with the similar name has been involved in an accident and died in state. If you use complete discretion when dealing with the manager they will make you the sole beneficiary and after several letters are exchanged or telephone calls you're asked for some money up front to release the funds 
as we said before if it sounds too good to be true it probably is too good to be true if you receive any type of email that's suspicious just delete it don't get caught out thanks very much